What's up, fuckers? Welcome back to another episode of Huggy's Beer. And this one has been much awaited because ever since I was doing beer reviews, you know, f- you know, three, four years ago, man, I had people asking me to review Budweiser. But I'm not going to review it. I always said I want nothing to do with Budweiser. But you know what? This isn't a fucking beer review anymore, man. This is Huggy's Beer. And we got to drink a beer and we got to talk about the supposed king of beers. Oh. Jesus, what was that nasty blood shit in there? Oh, fuck. All right, so before we get to talking about this, uh, this, this, this classic American beer, and even though I have no respect for them, it is a classic. It is a classic. They've been around forever. This is the epitome of American beer, for better or worse, more worse than better. And you do got to love the cool can. I do like this can. I won't front. I like this can. Very patriotic, very American, and that's how Budweiser gets you. Aside from all that other money that they spend on marketing and commercials and promotion and gimmicks and crappy products, that's how they get you. They pull at your patriotic fucking strings. That's right. Every good old boy out there with an American flag in his fucking yard or on his fucking truck, he's going to go buy that Budweiser because it's got a fucking flag on it. And guess what? I'm a patriot too, but just because you slap a flag on the fucking product don't mean I'm going to run out and buy it. But that's just me. Anyways. Yeah, there's a lot of bullshit involved here. But first, we drink uh, the second beer this week with rice in it. Because Anheuser-Busch buys, I think, like, fucking 40%, if not more, of the domestic American rice crop. They buy almost all the rice. They buy a fuckload of the rice. And this is why. Man, I'll tell you what, you don't have to like it, you don't have to buy it, but you cannot be an American, you cannot live in this country and not drink Budweiser. It'll get put in your face. Sometimes you go to a place and it's all they have, sometimes you go to your buddy's house and that's what they're drinking, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's just on sale really cheap and you can't beat the fucking deal, you can't get away from Budweiser, and they know it. Because that's the thing about Anheuser-Busch Budweiser, which of course is now owned by InBev uh, International Conglomerate. But that's the thing about Anheuser-Busch. It's all marketing. They are the top dogs. They spend the most money on fucking advertising. Just think of all the Super Bowl commercials. How much money does it cost them to advertise the fuck out of their products? And then, um, since... Uh, okay, how do I break this down? All right, I'm gonna drink beer while I figure about while I figure out how to break down the distribution thing to you guys. Hold on. Okay, let me try to do it like this, uh, and this all goes back to marketing and why they're the king of the hill. Ever since they repealed prohibition, uh, you know when when alcohol was legalized again. They set up the three-tier system. Now, it gets kind of technical, and this is kind of a a rudimentary way of explaining it, but the three-tier system basically says that the brewer cannot sell the beer directly to the public. There has to be a middleman, a distributor. So you have the producer, the distributor, and the consumer. Three tiers. The thing is that Budweiser and Anheuser-Busch kind of figured out a way around that because they set up their own distributor. So in most of the regions of this country, Every area is going to have two beer distributors. One is going to be the Anheuser-Busch affiliate distributor, and the other one is going to be the other guys, which is mainly Miller Coors and all the little regional guys and the craft breweries. The only craft breweries who get on uh, Anheuser-Busch's truck are the ones that are allied with them, like the Craft Brewers Alliance, which is Kona, uh, Red Hook, uh, Widmer, uh, and one or two others. And they got distribution through Budweiser. Budweiser actually, Anheuser-Busch actually owns like a steak in them. It's some shit like that. But see, here's the problem. Budweiser has their own delivery. And actually, you can see it down here. Uh, When I was living in Vero Beach, the Anheuser-Busch affiliate distributor out there was actually run. That particular distribution center was run by a member of the Bush family. So I never met him, but my buddy Howie was friends with him. Rich as fuck, got a huge house. He's a Bush. You know, so... The thing with Anheuser-Busch is they have all these beers, all these products, and their own distribution. So basically, they try to muscle everybody else out of the cooler. It's all marketing. They don't want to give anybody else space in the cooler. So now, for years I've been accused of having a bias uh, against Anheuser-Busch, and it's true. And these are the reasons why. To me, Anheuser-Busch is like Walmart. They're overgrown, they sell cheap, low-quality products, but they muscle out everybody else. 
just like Walmart has forced, you know, has, has just be, by their sheer presence and the fact that they keep opening up locations with dirt cheap Chinese products being sold by employees making just a hair over minimum wage, so they muscle out all the mom and pops uh, companies, businesses, whatever, and don't give them really a chance to succeed, to take away their business, and Hauser Bush does about the same goddamn thing. And then they start releasing beers like Black Crown and uh, what was the last one? The Bush Copper Lager and all this bullshit to kind of pull people away from craft beer and more towards their end of the cooler. It's all marketing, it's all gimmicks, it's all bullshit, and it's all business practices that I really can't respect. Not to mention there shouldn't be rice in here in the first place. And yes, if you're saying this isn't a review, this isn't a fair video, you're going off on Anheuser Bush. Yes, I am. The fanboys are going to hate me. And this will probably be one of my most viewed videos, so I'll probably end up with like 60-something comments within two weeks. And most of them will be, you know, telling me I'm full of shit. Bring it on, fuckers! Bring it on! What can you say to defend this corporation? By the way, they're giving you an extra ounce. This is a 25-ounce can. That's the reason we're doing this video. More on that in a second. So much I wanted to see on this video. Hopefully I don't run long. I took the timer off there so I can't see it, so. Hopefully I don't run long, but I will kind of leave it at that. Like I said, this is the 25 ounce can. You want to talk about muscle and marketing? Um, this, is, this is all this is. This 25 ounce can, they do not want to give you an extra ounce of beer for free, okay? If you believe that they're just hooking you up, and like, well, they're gonna do 25, they're gonna give us a little more beer. Uh, you think they're doing it for you? No. 25 ounce cans are to get out of the contract with their current, or actually previous now, I guess, uh, can manufacturer. This is now an Anheuser-Busch can. This can is made by Anheuser-Busch in Bev. The problem is that, and I'll, obviously I, I haven't read the contract myself, I don't know the specifics of it, but the word is, uh, the word is, the word is that to get out of the current contract with their can manufacturer, they, I guess, let me put it this way, I guess the contract states that we will be the one and only supplier of your 24 ounce cans for your products. Therefore, because they have a contract with such company, Budweiser can't sell their own 24 ounce cans because it would be breach of contract. So instead of making their own 24 ounce cans, they say, fuck it. Because of the contract we have with this company, we can't make our own 24 ounce can. We'll make a 25 ounce can. That's their way out of the contract with their manufacturer so they can sell, so they can use their own cans, which increases their bottom line because it's more cheaper to make it than to buy it from somebody else. And I'm sure when that contract expires, and Anheuser-Busch is free to make their own cans of whatever size they choose, 25s will disappear and 24s will go back into circulation. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Now, some might say you're an asshole, you have a bias against Anheuser-Busch. You could say that, sure. I'm a cynic, and I have no trust. Because the larger corporations get in this country, the more they do shady shit. From, from Anheuser-Busch InBev, to Walmart, to Comcast, to the United States government, to General Motors, let me throw them in there. I don't trust any of those motherfuckers, because any large corporation will lie, cheat, steal, and deceive as long as it will affect the bottom line, keep the guys at the top rich, and the shareholders happy. That's how that works, folks. Now, <clears throat> one more thing I'll throw out there. There you go, 5% alcohol by volume per 12 fluid ounces. So anyways, uh, one more thing to throw out there, and actually I lost my train of thoughts, so I don't know what the hell I was going to throw out there. Uh, start looking up why it is that beers don't have to list their ingredients like everything else, you know, with a little food facts label on the back, and uh, just kind of look into the laws as far as what the government requires uh, brewers to release the information for them to put out. For example, 
Uh, they have to put out like grams and proteins and, and you know shit that has to do with like carbs and organic stuff, but they're not forced by the government to disclose any chemical additives or preservatives. And if you think that Budweiser, with all the beers they brew, and with all the money that they rake in, if you think there's no preservatives in this beer, then I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Because if you think there's no preservatives, you believe what they're telling you. And if you believe what they're telling you, well, shit, you're kind of gullible. Gullible. Gullible, ain't you? This isn't so much about my bias against Budweiser or Anheuser-Busch. This is me talking to the people of America. Remember guys, believe none of what you hear and half of what you see. Do not be scared to question authority. The problem is that people do not question these motherfuckers enough. They see the commercials, they see the shit on the shelf, they see it on sale, they gobble it up and then they support it when they don't even really know what it is they're buying or who they're buying it from. And that applies to everything in this modern world we live in. <sighs> sorry, fanboys. That's just the way I feel. I'm out of here. I think I ran long and for that, I'm sorry. Uh, remember, Hoggiesbeer.com, Hoggiesbeer on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Untapped, Hoggy on, on uh, good old G Plus there. And stay tuned. The shirts will be coming in a couple of weeks. I love you, fuckers. Stay tuned for the next one. Enjoy your weekend. And yeah, man, have a beer. Peace.